Hi, I'm Katie and I'm renovating an off-grid cabin in the Morvon Nature Park in France. This sweet little cabin is getting a major overhaul. I'm working alone and I've never built a cabin, so I'm lacking in knowledge and skills, but I'm going to give it a go and see how I get on. In the last video, I built the floor structure for the new back room and spent a lot of time watching the spring lambs in the field in front of the cabin. In this video, I'm going to build the walls at the back and take the roof off the old part. The cabin will never look the same again. This is really no going back. So join me as I learn to build wood frame walls and enjoy May become June here in the Morvon Nature Park. Hi guys. Progress is slow but steady. Um, got a few days off together so I'm going to attempt to do the following things. I'm going to attempt to take the hoarding off the back of the uh, old chalet, leaving a little bird's nest that is uh, inactive with loads of uh, baby birds in there so I'm going to try and work around that as much as I can. They don't seem to be bothered by me. They seem pretty happy uh, to come and go even though I'm here although they squawk a bit when I arrive. Um, and. I've covered this back section completely. We've had loads of thunderstorms, so I've had to do a couple of things. One, I wish I'd done at the very beginning, which uh, is to cover the whole surface with a marine uh, treatment for boats, basically, which is not a hugely expensive. It's 40 euros for a, a big pot, and it gives this kind of uh, waterproof finish. It could do with another pot, to be honest, but I'm going to keep it covered um, with this plastic and then when I'm working the other big thick bash on top um, so yeah next step is to start to put together the walls I've been looking at wind so in essence the back wall is going to look like that and this is going to connect up with the existing roof structure which is there and the side walls, uh, the one that's looking out to the garden is going to be like this. This is going to be the toilet, so I'm just going to put a small window in. So I've been looking at the sizes. It seems like the smallest standard size is 40 by 45, so I'm going to go for that. Here in the middle, yet to finally decide, uh, but it's going to be around that sort of size. It's going to be above a sink in the bathroom. And here is going to be a shower. And on the other side, so when we're looking out this way, um, it's going to be a wall with a large window. Um, so that when you're lying in bed, you'll be able to look out of the window onto the view of the garden, which hopefully will be quite nice. So that's the general plan. I've had a friend look over it and tell me if it's more or less feasible and correct and structurally sound. And the answer was yes. So let's see how I get on. I've started taking the bardage off, which is fairly easy and I'm quite pleased to see that there's pretty good wood structure behind that I can go into to attach my new walls however a little note for everybody out there please think carefully about how you keep animals out of your woodland cabin because otherwise I can assure you it's going to smell pretty bad um, this structure has basically been put together with little gaps along the edge where animals can get in so I've got birds nesting up there they've made a little hole and essentially when you take it off you can see the impact and it smells pretty bad on the inside so try and think about animal proofing your at the top the critters have literally destroyed the polystyrene to a point of no return and made it into a massive bed slash shit pile i've made my way around uh seems like the mice have basically and the loire which is like a little squirrel creature that lives locally have basically decimated all of the polystyrene so i've ended up with several big sacks of loose polystyrene i'm just going to take all of it out and i've also because i've been here most of the day been carefully waiting to see if the blue tip family were coming and going because they've been coming three four times an hour mum and dad coming and i could hear the babies inside I've not heard them all day and so I've just got right up to their nest and it's empty. So I think they must have fledged in the last couple of days. Either that or something came and ate them. But they've gone. This looks like the old ones from about three years ago. Uh, that didn't make it, obviously. 
Um, but yeah, so that's good. I'm, I'm happy I'm not bothering anyone. And um, I'm just going to get on and clear this all out now. And uh, frankly, I'm pleased I didn't bother having a shower this morning because it's been absolutely disgusting and grim. And it In case you were wondering, these are stones mixed with plaster. I presume the mice and Loire made their way inside the cabin and the last owner had blocked up the holes from the inside before wallpapering over. Taken off all the bardage, I've uh, cleaned out all the awful insulation. I've also washed down all the areas that were infested with uh, mouse uh, bits and disinfected them with a product that I caught, find pretty useful, um, which basically destroys all the enzyme in the urine. I've had it in another property where there's a lot of animals in the stuck in the, in one room and it was really disgusting so that works really well so i've cleaned all that down all the panels in between these lines here are going to go when i've opened up inside i'm going to put whole new panels in so i've not bothered doing anything with that i'm going to keep those the wood structure and i'm going to work on it basically started the first wall my insulation is going to be 60 centimeters wide so i've put my walls in at 59 here and on the other side here so i can just literally squeeze in the 60 uh, width bit of insulation i've kind of worked out where i think my shower is going to come because i've got this is going to be the bathroom so i've basically tried to work out where that's going to be more or less where the wall is going to finish for the shower cubicle and then i've tried to centralize where the window is going to go uh, i'm going to have a small window of 60 by 40 here just to have a little bit of uh, air above the sink uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and put in a series of structural bits in the middle and screw it all together. Donc j'avais dit que j'avais un mur à construire. Regarde, elle est là, elle est magnifique. Je m'appelle Cathy, je suis charpentier. First wall is up absolutely delighted it's going to come down again it's going to have more structural support put in um, i'm thrilled i'm really happy it's gone up pretty easily and it's quite fun so happy days little Sunday update for you. Um, I've just finished converting this really grotty old outhouse, cleaning it up um, and turning the old chemical toilet that was inside that was really grim into a, a dry toilet instead, which I think is slightly more environmentally friendly and easier to deal with. So uh, yeah, this is what it looks like now. The door that was on here was completely rotten and I've reused one of the old shutters from the old windows of the caravan that was going to get burnt and it seemed like it was in pretty good nick still so I've held on to it. And basically inside I've given the whole thing a bit of a clean out. It had all vines growing up the outside so I might, may well still do something a bit nicer to the outside. Inside I got a pot of very cheap paint at a local charity depot uh, for five euros so I've painted it this delightful purple which I think adds to its charm and uh, this is the old potty that was in the old caravan 
festering with disgusting chemicals inside. I've basically jet washed it, cleaned it out, given it a good airing and put a small plastic bag and some uh, wood chip which is being stored in this little bucket here and with a little spoon I'll shortly be adding a loo roll uh, and my plan is basically that when people come they will um, be able to use this and as and when needed can just tie the tie up their bag and put it in the bin next door and then that will go in the main bin uh, which collects into uh, the public waste system so I'm not going to try and do composting for the time being I'm just going to start and see uh, how we get on with uh, this little setup but I'm quite pleased with it it's nice and stable when you sit down uh, it's easy to clean and uh, you know closes and opens easily etc uh, so yeah rather than ch chucking that at the dump which I thought I was going to have to do uh, it's just been repurposed into something that fits a modern day alternative to a chemical loo so yeah The little oak trees I planted a month ago are doing really great. Over the following week I've made some really great progress with the walls. It's starting to look really good. And then... Not always beautiful here, it's absolutely flipping, honging it down. Massive thunderstorm, fairly terrifying. Glad I have got some delicious chocolates to help me. The weather stayed wet over the last two weeks and it's clear that getting a new roof on is absolutely urgent in order to protect all the hard work I've done so far. So I've cracked on with it and built the back wall Now I've added a temporary central beam just to hold up a tarpaulin and keep the worst off whilst I finish the other walls and roof structure. The daily battle against the rain is taking a lot of time and energy. Throughout June we've had really high temperatures and loads of crazy electrical storms. Around 300 local houses have been destroyed by massive hailstones. We're lucky not to have been hit. Beautiful day here today. It's mid-June. It's absolutely roasting outside but there's a nice breeze so I'm still able to crack on with it. We've made some really good progress. I've got both side walls up. It's going to be a big picture window that you can look out from the uh, bed the other side wall that's also up and I've got the uh, um, chipboard attached. So along the top of here is running my beams that are going to support the roof. You can basically see with this one that's uh, sitting essentially what it's going to look like. To attach all of this to the other building we've gone for some um, so bits of uh, wood these huge bolts and secured that way so the original rafter um, is still there and it's been being nicely supported and then that runs along and then it's sitting on these beams which uh, these um, vertical beams which are basically doubled up this was a job that needed to be done with two people uh, I had a friend come and help me for an afternoon it wasn't that difficult um, but need someone to hold the beam basically whilst you find the right level and uh, make the holes. And these uh, are the big bolts and nuts that we've put through, 160. Getting a new roof on means saying goodbye to the old front room of the cabin. This cosy space has been a shelter against the rain, the cold and the heat. I've spent plenty of happy times here writing and playing my accordion and I'm really sad to see it go. I decorated it with a few old rugs and throws and it's been affectionately named the hippie cabin. I've never slept here overnight. Now the weather's better, I'm going to stay over with just my accordion and one of our dogs for company. 
It's the last day the old cabin will look and feel this way. I took apart the inside and relocated the temporary sink from the cabin to the summer kitchen, along with most of the furnishings. This outside kitchen space has become a great summer hangout with a few simple pieces of secondhand furniture and a plancher grill. I bought a camping gas shower earlier in the year and set this up near the kitchen, but in the end the shower ran hot water just by the hose pipe laying in the sun. It's just enough to clean up at the end of a working day. Over the hottest days of July, I'm rarely alone. Plenty of our local friends are happy to escape their lives for a short while and come and be here. It's a place that is close to home, but feels entirely apart and has a different rhythm. It does us all a lot of good just to take a chair and sit a bit, take in the view, make a simple meal and have a snooze. Whilst I love being here alone, it's been really great to be able to share this place with some of our favorite people. Destruction day, uh, it's been a very successful morning. We took off all of the old shingle uh, tiles, first of all, and then uh, got all the big roof panels that were made of chipboard that were rotten. Managed to get them off from the outside, which was uh, with me inside and Joe on the outside. And then we've taken off all of the um, middle supports called chevron in French. I don't know the word in English. And here we have a beautiful blue sky and our structure, which represents very much what we've got on the other side. So the um, new roofing is gonna be attached directly onto these. I'm gonna extend it a bit at the front and it's going to be great. So I'm very happy with that. I'm amazed at the progress that we've made in one morning. Isa Sejo, that's Joe. Oh, yeah. Magician, demolition, everything <laughs> is now on the ground. Beautiful. Well done. Over the next week I cleared up after the roof demolition mess and pushed ahead with preparing for the new roof to go on. Join me in the next video for the momentous transformation of the new roof. As we transition from July into August, things get pretty sweaty. I continue the build through one of the hottest summers on record. Thanks for watching. See you soon.